breaking news we're following for you. A second case of Zika virus confirmed in the state of Ohio. The state health department telling us within the past half hour about a 21-year-old man, a Stark County man, diagnosed after he went on a trip to Haiti. We're told this case not related to the first Zika case that we learned of early this morning. A 29-year-old woman from Cleveland also diagnosed with the Zika virus after she too returned from Haiti. Tonight, 2 News reporter Kelly King asking questions about what local doctors are doing to spot the symptoms. An infectious disease specialist with Kettering Medical Center says the symptoms of Zika virus are very mild, mild fever, rash, headaches. Because the signs are so similar to a typical virus, they say it's going to be hard to spot. Right now, it's, it's, it's a potential. It's, it's something we're watching. It's not a big public health crisis right now. Doctors say the Zika virus is unlike the last epidemic, the Ebola crisis. Dr. Jeffrey Weinstein with Kettering Medical Center says unlike Ebola, Zika virus won't be an issue for hospitals because it's transmitted from a mosquito bite. Pregnant women are most at risk. The virus may cause birth defects in, preg you know, in, in babies, of course. So it's a concern if a pregnant woman gets infected with it, uh, but it's not really so much of a concern for the hospitals. I asked how Zika virus is diagnosed. Experts say if a doctor suspects a patient has the virus, that doctor will notify the State Department of Health and the CDC must test the patient for the disease. It's not commercially available and a private physician's office would not be able to do testing for the Zika virus. Right now, there are general public health recommendations, like pregnant women shouldn't travel to countries where there is a Zika outbreak. Local doctors say the virus could become much more of an issue here come mosquito season. It'll be much more concerning because anyone who has a, a nonspecific viral type syndrome, you might have to consider. When summer comes, public health Dayton and Montgomery County officials say they will not test mosquitoes for the virus if that's what the CDC recommends. The CDC does not recommend testing mosquitoes collected in the United States for Zika virus. Doctors say there will be ongoing efforts to work on a vaccine and looking at ways to prevent the spread. Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.